God is not judging you. Jesus took all judgment for all sin, for all people, for all time upon Himself. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So how does God deal with us when we sin? If you've made mistakes, if you've messed up, you've failed, how does God deal with you when that happens? Romans 8.1 says, There is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. This verse is telling you to not identify with who you are by what you do in the flesh. If you do, you'll be condemned. You'll feel judged, not by God. He does not condemn you. Now You may be thinking, but Terry, when a believer sins, the Holy Spirit convicts them of that sin. Not true. There's only one sin the Holy Spirit convicts people of, and it's unbelief. When a believer sins, makes a mistake, the Holy Spirit reminds them of righteousness. He points to your right standing with God, not your sin. He doesn't show you a picture of what you've done. He shows you a picture of who you are in Christ Jesus. You are in Christ Jesus. You are in Christ Jesus. I want to say that again. You, if you're born again, are in Christ Jesus. When that picture gets branded in your consciousness, there is no condemnation. There is elevation. Amen. I've practiced this on my girls. I have three beautiful daughters. And I've seen how their countenance will change when they mess up, make a mistake. And instead of harping on their mistakes, I'll remind them of how good they are. For instance, I can't think of what happened, but my youngest daughter, Isabella, talked in a way to her mom that was not appropriate. And I did not say, Isabella, what's wrong with you? Little girl, you little spoiled brat. You're just spoiled rotten. No, I didn't judge her, condemn her. She knew what she had done. And instead of bringing her down to the level of what she did, I took her little face, placed it in my hands. And I said, Isabella, you're too good to talk that way. You're a precious girl. What did I do? I pointed to who she was, not what she was doing. And it changed what she was doing. The Holy Spirit, He never comes to point out your faults. Satan does that. Hell roars how horrible you are. It doesn't take a revelation from the Holy Spirit to see that you failed. However, when you know you failed, you need the Holy Spirit to remind you of who you are in Christ. When you magnify who you are in Christ, you elevate to that level. No matter what you've done, no matter what your condition may be, you, if you're born again, you're righteous in Christ Jesus. Righteousness is not based on your condition, but your position. Don't identify with who you are by what you do. Identify with who you are by who you're in. Praise God. That's awesome. Salvation is not dependent on what you do or don't do. It's based on our acknowledgement of who we believe in. And the only way to shut hell up in our mind is through the acknowledgement of who we're in. Of course, God doesn't wink at sin. He hates to see us suffer the consequences of sin. However, He is not mad at you. That's religion. He loves you. When you make a mistake, don't turn from God. Don't run from Him. Run to Him and receive the help in time of need. So it all comes down to this one thing. Do you believe what Christ did for you at the cross is greater than any sin you could ever commit or you've ever committed? If so, magnify that. Be dominated 
by His love for you. Be convinced that nothing could ever separate you from the love of God. There is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do to make God love you more and there's nothing you can do to make Him love you less. That's powerful. You can't do one thing to earn salvation. It's Jesus plus nothing that equals everything. But Jesus plus anything, especially your own effort, equals nothing. So if you want peace and you want hell silenced in your life, look to Jesus and trust in Him. Empowered with Terry Tripp.